Hello, today I'll be doing a video for beginners to show you exactly what to remove. Most of these boards are fully depopulated, so I'll find a board which will be good for this. So, the first thing to move is BGAs, but there isn't any on this board at the moment because I've taken them off. So, uh, <clears throat> IC chips. It, these are uh, IC chips. They're IC chips. All of these chips with legs, if they have more than three, like them. And they could also be different shapes, like the quad ones. Any of those types of chips are IC chips, which normally yield together you're normally about a gram a kilo, one gram of pure gold. They're easy to move, you can st stick a flathead screwdriver in, hit it with a hammer, or you can just scratch one side and they'll just come off. Next we got gold pins, little sockets. They're easy to remove, you just basically pop the things off, it's all different types, and the pins will poke out and you can just pull them off. Gold pins yield completely different every single type of pin. Some can be 0 0.05 up to 2 grams of pure gold per kilo. These normally have gold pins in them as well. Uh, the pins in them aren't very good, but still worth removing. As you can see, there's a CPU socket. When I add a CPU in it, they're normally fibre CPUs, which are the cheap plastic ones. They're barely worth anything, but still worth removing, obviously. And these are all gold pins in there. Even though they're only plated on the tops of the actual pins, they're quite thickly plated. So you are worth doing. Uh, you can remove the battery. Because people buy batteries. More gold pins here. Um, things like these. Those. Those and that. All have copper in them. Little copper wires um, then we have a little disc in them and that'll be silver plated and there's the bottom bit where it has like a little metal bit at the bottom that's also silver plated and then obviously there's MLCCs there's loads of them they'll all contain palladium and silver in them they're definitely worth moving also the solder which is left behind when you knock the chips off some of the chips are sold underneath. They're worth moving and mounting together. The solder's worth about £50 UK money per kilo. These, things like that, are just aluminium. They're not worth removing. You might as well leave them on. I think that's everything on that. Yeah. Those are just normally electroplated copper or barium plated copper. That's more capacitors, they're just aluminium. These contain copper, these little black boxes. More different types of gold plated pins in there. Um, These ones, there's more IC chips, big ones. Each IC chip, for each bomb wire they have, each wire they have, they have one bomb wire. Which really means the more legs they have, the more, more gold they have. These contain copper. Those little blocks. That's just aluminium again. These heat sinks are made out of aluminium. So is that. These resistors, I don't think it's worth removing. I know they have something in. That might have a little bit of silver in. Uh, these aren't actually IC chips, they're resistors, they'll have silver. <clears throat> um, these have gold pins. That's a fuse. I believe they have little bits of silver on the outside, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, the MRCCs in these are quite big. That's copper. Those things are resistors. They're less silver in. 
that has silver in, that's like a crystal oscillator similar to. That's another CPU slot. So I'll go up in there. It's on that one. I don't think I've got any BGA boards, but let's see if we can find one. These LEDs will have little bits of gold bomb wires in them. So my voice got real bad cold today again. These little blue things, I believe, should have silver in them. And these are <clears throat> tantalum, I think. Got a lot of them on the board. I think they all contain tantalum. These actual type of connectors don't have any gold in them. As you can see looking in, there's no gold. It's not all of them have There's a crystal oscillator. Normally crystal oscillators are rubbish, but I think inside these ones are normally gold. These two also have silver in them. They both have little discs in them. And you've also got little copper wires. There's another type of crystal oscillator. They're the worst ones. They basically just have um, very little amount of silver in them. Just to show you other types, that's another type of crystal oscillator. They're much better. They normally have a IC chip in there as well. A little small one. Let's see if there's any more. There's another one. They have big discs in them, silver discs. Uh, I think that's all the types I've got to show. But when you remove an IC chip, they're like that. Those CPU slots, just to show you what they look like, that's the CPUs you'll find in them. Sometimes they don't have pins and they have a plated board. They're not very good CPUs, but they add up. This one's quite a modern phone board. As you can see, those ones are called BGAs. Similar to IC chips, but they don't have legs. They're soldered down. So they'll have little solder balls underneath. They're much better than IC chips, about six times better. You'll find about <clears throat> six grams of gold per kilo of them. As you can see, all these gold colored parts and boards are always gold plating, only thin gold plating. Like that, for example. Came from a um, desk phone. Older phones with the little touchpad normally have them like that. Very thick gold plate in there. That was from an old Blackberry. The TVs also have a little wire going across. These little dots here are called ceramic oscillators. Hard to see, but they contain 4 to 10 grams of gold per kilo. On many BGAs, they'll have a little top like this, all thicker, and they're just nickel plated copper. So underneath that, that's copper. You can sell them as copper to scrap those. These look similar to BGAs, but they have Solder balls, I've removed the solder from the bottom, I'm out of them, but they'll just be stuck down with solder. Also, and they don't really have any gold on them, they have little tiny dots in the corner and all that, but such a very little amount.
but they're not really worth removing unless you're removing the solder off the bottom. Here's an even cheaper board. These ones are called MOSFETs. They have a lot of copper in them and a little bit of gold, bomb wise. That's a MOSFET as well. Gold plating you'll find everywhere, everywhere. As you can see in there, it's fully gold plated that pin. It's gold pins in there. Almost any board you get will have a lot of gold plating. There's gold plating. A lot of um, VGAs will have like a little metal top and it'll have a mini board underneath. The little board will have a bit of gold in it and the top is the bit where most of the gold is. Some IC chips are holding up that. I would break it open but I'm a, I've got one hand I probably won't be able to. And they just come out like that. As long as you just hold down. These ones you obviously have to break off on your own. These IC chips will probably have more 2 to 3 grams per kilo. Rather than the ones like these. Which normally have about a gram. Those little things next to the MRCCs. Often found on RAM and things like that. Uh, all contain silver. That's resistors. These are more chips held down by solder, which means they're BGAs. Of this is an old RAM. You get a lot of BGAs on boards. I've removed all mine and sent them off already. So that's the reason I couldn't really find many for you. I think I've gone through everything with you. If I've missed anything, please put it down in the description and I'll add it onto this video. Hope you enjoyed, I hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.